What up, guys? This is Game Up Girl. Um, I'm doing my PS3 collection. I have over 100 games. Um, just letting you guys see what I have. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys have as well. Um, this week I'm going to be um, doing an, like a kind of like a Let's Play With Me um, video or show you uh, some gameplay of Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. Um, I'm going to do my highest character that I've been I've been working on her for like three years um, put it on the hardest mode that the game offers and do it on the one die one kill and then it'll end up deleting my file so uh, stay tuned for that which will be so sad when I die because I know I'm going to <coughs> excuse me without further ado um, yeah I'm not super excited about this video right now I this is like the fifth time I've tried to record it and you know uh, Let's see how it goes. My camera is being stupid, so I had to go through and delete all this stuff, and I don't know, it's being ridiculous. But yeah, let's see how it works out this time. My first one is um, the Stick of Truth, South Park. Um, this is definitely the South Park style. Um, it's a super fun game. Um, I definitely recommend it. Next one is Resistance 2. I have not played this at all. I've owned it for... I don't know, a hundred years it seems like for a long time and I haven't even put it in so it's a backlog game. My next one is Grand Theft Auto 5. This came with my PlayStation when I had gotten it. Um, I love the Grand... I didn't mean to say Grand Theft Auto 5. Grand Turismo. I love the Grand Turismo series. Um, but yeah, uh, from PlayStation 1 and stuff, I love building up the cars and then racing them. Um, I'm a car girl. I like to work on cars on the side to make extra cash. And uh, these games are right up my alley. My next one is Lollipop Chainsaw. Um, I love this game. I think that Jimmy Urine is one that helped create it. He's the lead singer of Mindless Self-Indulgence. And, um, sorry, I was getting a phone call. Like really, what could go more wrong in this video today? Anyway, um, I like my self-indulgence, and uh, since Jimmy Urine helped create it, that's how I heard about it when it first came out. Um, it wasn't very much publicized, and uh, it's a great game. It's short, but it's a good game. Um, Ninja Gaiden 3, or Gaiden, depending on where you're from. Um, the Ninja Gaiden series is good in general anyway, but yeah, this game's hard, just like the first one and second one and so forth. But yeah... Um, Definitely a good game. My next one is Skyrim. Um, Skyrim is a... My dogs are going to bark now because somebody's outside. Skyrim is a great game. Um, I love Skyrim. I think it's so fun and so beautiful. And um, I have the original as well. I'm not including it in this video because one's enough. But, um, yeah, it, it's such a fun game. I love the shit out of it. Virtual Fighter 5. Um, I got um, this game really cheap online, as you can tell. But yeah, I like the Virtual Fighter series. Um, I played them since they first came out. Um, this one's just similar to that. But yeah, it's a good game. It's a good fighter. Next one is 3D Dot Game Heroes. I so recommend this game. I know I've talked about it in other videos. It's such a good game. It's so different and so awesome. And you guys should definitely check out some gameplay on it if you haven't already. Or pick it up. It's relatively cheap. Um, especially since PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 are being faded out in a sense. You can pick up their games really cheap right now. But uh, yeah, this is such a great game. Uh, Dragon Age Origins. I love the Dragon Age series. Um, I think it's super fun. I love that RPG element. Um, I don't know, my camera's not focusing. Um, but yeah, it's a great game. I I know um, some of them people don't like them, and other ones you know people like more. But I so far I I like the whole series. Um, yeah. Uh, Dangerous Hunt, Cabela's Dangerous Hunt. I got this as a set from Amazon for nine bucks. You get the gun with it and a big old box set and this. It's all right of a game. I'm not a big like you know shoot 'em fan, but it's all right. It's definitely fun to play with other people, but it's all right. Um, I haven't played but an hour of this game. It's pretty cool, um, but I need to sit down and get more into it. But yeah, it's a good game. 
Thief. Um, seen some gameplay on it. Looked pretty cool. I haven't played it yet. Like I, if you seen my pickups video, I just recently picked it up. But yeah, it's a good game. Um, Valkyrie Chronicles. This game is beautiful and such a different game uh, play style. Um, if you haven't seen it, check out some gameplay on it. It's so different, but it's so pretty, and it's just an awesome game. You should definitely check it out. Uncharted uh, Among Thieves. The whole Uncharted series is amazing, but yeah, this is a great game. This is by far my favorite out of the three, but I haven't played the fourth one yet, so I don't really have an opinion on it. I want to play it, but I haven't done it. I don't own a PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. Heavy Rain. Um, I've had it for a while. It looks really good. I have not played it. Um, it's backlogged, but yeah, it looks really good. And I've seen a lot of gameplay on it. It looks cool. Um, these are some of the games I need to complete. Hellboy. This game is, I, I think it's really good. I think it's fun. Um, The Elder Scroll 4, Shriveling Isles. I haven't played it yet. I, I haven't even looked up gameplay on it yet, but yeah. Haze. I don't know nothing about it. It just, you know, kind of fell into my lap in a sense and haven't sat down and played it. A few of the first person shooters I own Battlefield 3, limited edition. I'm not a big first person shooter fan, so it's alright of a game. Call of Duty Ghost. This is the hardened edition um, one. I have the box and all that stuff that came with it up there on my shelf, but uh, yeah, it's alright. Resident Evil 5, um, I love the Resident Evil series, um, uh, I don't know, I, it just everything about it I love, but 5, I don't like the way that the camera is set up, um, but by far, um, I like 1 through 4 the best, and um, 6 is alright, I haven't played any of the side ones really, but uh, Resident Evil, first one I played was Resident Evil Director's Cut, and then obviously 2, and then uh, Nemesis. But, and 4 is great. I haven't beaten 4, though. But yeah, this game's alright. Dead Space 3, it's backlogged because I haven't finished beating Dead Space 2 yet. But I got this on clearance really cheap, so I picked it up. Um, uh, Dead Island, Riptide, I played, you can barely see it, I played the first one and beat it. And I thought the first one was pretty good, but... I haven't opened even opened this one yet. Um, it got given to me or bought for me at Christmas, and uh, from Best Buy, so it wasn't complete, but uh, it's pretty cool. Saint Rose Four is backlogged. I just picked it up. If you've watched my pickups video, um, it looks really good though. Enemy Territory Quake Wars. I got it. As you can see, I got it for eighty nine cents. So yeah. It's a first-person shooter. It's all right. Um, I like the original Quake, but uh, yeah, it's all right. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, Plants vs. Zombies, Zombies Garden Warfare. Um, yeah, I just picked this up. I haven't played it yet. It looks really cool, though. I, I'm excited to do it. Next one is Alice. Um, this game is awesome. It's a 3D platformer. It's so freaking cool and so pretty and good. And I, I definitely recommend it if you haven't played it yet, but it's such a good game. One of the newer pickups I just got, um, Lego Avengers. Um, I haven't played it yet. Like I just got it last week um, I, for, through a trade. Um, the person that traded me had uh, beaten it. And so, yeah, I love the whole Lego series. Um, as you'll see in my collection, I have a ton of them. But, yeah, I, I, I'm i excited to play this one. Lego Star Wars 3. This has, you know, it's right up my alley because it's about Star Wars, and I love my Star Wars. But, uh, yeah, it's Lego series. This is super fun. I think it's awesome. Mind Jack. Um, it's all right. It's kind of a budget title kind of game, but it's all right. It's a good game, though. Um. I haven't played too much into it, maybe four, three or four hours into it, not too much, but it, it, I like the concept of it, it's kind of cool. Um, Wolf Among Us, god, my camera view is crap tonight. Um, this game, I first played it on Xbox 360. Um, this game is awesome, if you guys haven't played it, it's, it's such a hidden gem, it's so good. Um, Beyond Two Souls. I haven't played it yet. It's 
Uh, it looks really good, though. I, I'm anything like Ellen Page video games and William Defoe. God, he's the ugliest man ever. But uh, yeah, it, it looks really good. So I'm excited to play it. Next one is Brutal Legends. I need to complete this one. Um, I love the soundtrack in this game, and then it has Jack Black in it. You can't go wrong with Jack Black and kick-ass music. It's so good. Next one is Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. I got this when it first released, um, when I first got my PlayStation. It's such a great game. It's so good. Um, Eco and Shadow of the Colossus. Sorry if I murdered that title. Um, I had this on PlayStation 2 when I was younger. And they're so good. It's such good gameplay. It's such a good storyline on both of them. It's, it's sad and it's good. I don't know. It's just a great game. Games. Castlevania 2. Yeah, if you guys watch my other video, you know how I feel about it. It's alright of a game. I don't hate it. You know, I'm happy to own a Castlevania on PlayStation 3. I also own one on PSP, which I didn't, I haven't talked about that stuff yet, but yeah, it's alright of a game. I didn't like the first one that came out on PlayStation 3, though. I thought it was horrific. Um, this game's alright. Uh, haven't really got that much into it. It's just, it's alright of a game. <clears throat> I got a new stand for my camera, and so I'm like kind of off about distance on it. I'm sorry. It'll get better. The Golden Compass, this game is awful. It's so bad. I just I just don't like it. I don't like anything about it. The gameplay, I just don't. The movie was alright, but the, the game sucks. Uh, Midway Arcade Origins. I I love these kind of games because they have multiple like of Atari games. And um I I grew up playing Atari and, and television and Commodore sixty four and you know, the original Doom on computer and Nintendo and so forth. And uh you know, this stuff's right up my alley because then you can play it on the more modern systems and it looks a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I, I like it. Um, I think my favorite Atari game of all time is Kaboom. I played so much of it with my grandpa and my brothers. It's so, it's such a good game. Anyway, uh, Starhawk. I haven't played it. I've owned it a long time, but I haven't played it, so I don't know much about it. It looks cool on the cover, but I don't know much about it. Um, Demon Souls. This game is hard as hell, but it's really good. I, 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 I like the concept of it. I dig where they're going with it, and, um, I, I think there's a second one. I might have it, actually, on Xbox 360, but, um, I do. I think. I'm looking. Sorry. Uh, yeah, nope. No, I don't. Anyway, um, yeah, it's a really good game. It's an older game. Um, I don't know crap about this game because I don't have a PlayStation Move, nor do I want one. But uh yeah, it's just in my it's in my stack. Stack of crap. Um the next one is uh Dragon's Crown. Um this game is awesome. It's so weirdly drawn, like the characters are overdrawn, the girls have like these big old boobs and they're super muscular and but the game is so good. It's just, it's so different, but it's it's such a good game. Definitely recommend it. Ratchet and Clank, uh, all for one. I bought this, like, I don't know, two years ago on a, a local online yard sale for five bucks. Two or three years ago. It's, it's been a while. And I've actually never sat down and played it. So, um, hold on, my cat's coming. No turtle. Anyway, um, yeah, I like the Ratchet and Clank series. I played one on PSP. And, uh, I don't, they're so funny, but, yeah, it's a good game. I don't like the turn-based style in this game. Oh, my God, this cat today. Um, but I think this game is beautiful. The first one, I didn't like the turn-based style in it either. I don't like turn-based fighting. But I, I dig the storyline, and I, I like, you know, it's just a great, they're great games. And I, and I understand why they have such a cult following and stuff, so. So apparently Turtle's helping us now. My cat is so weird. She has to be in everything we do, so. The next one is Dragon, or God, Golden Axe Beast Rider. 
Um, this game is awesome. Uh, I like the original one on, uh, what is it, Sega? Um, I actually have an uh, arcade game like the one I just showed you with it on there. Um, it's such a good game. It's super hard, though. Like, I'm so stuck in one spot, but it's a great game. She's going to knock over my stacks of games. She's such a turd. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 4. I like the Metal Gear series. Um, the first one I played was Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid on uh, PlayStation 1, and I, I just so was enthused with the fact that you can make him smoke and, you know, do all these tricky things, and it, you know, came with multiple discs, and so it was like, I don't know, it's just so awesome, but I actually have not sat down and played this one, or the newer one, um, but yeah, I need to. Star Wars, The Force Unleashed, I love all the Star Wars games, so, um, yeah, everything about them I like, I, I mean, I don't even care if people think they're crappy, I just, it says Star Wars, it's just right up my alley, I just love Star Wars and Batman, and I'm a nerd. Tekken 6, I, I love the Tekken series, I always play them with my brother, um, up on PlayStation 2 I have 4 and 5, and on PlayStation 1 I think I have 1 and 2, maybe, 1, maybe just 1. But, um, I want to complete the series, but, uh, yeah, they're so good. Next stack. Oh, if I can get them. Yay! Is Lego Batman 3. Once again, Lego's Batman right up my alley. I love the shit out of this game. Super fun. I also have the second one somewhere in here, or I might already did it. I don't know. I don't know. It's been a long day, guys. But anyway, this is such a great game. I traded for it. Um, Front Mission Evolved, it's alright of a game, I mean, uh, it's okay. Uh, Child of Eden, um, I got this really cheap, actually, I got it for 99 cents at GameStop Online. It's alright of a game, um, I don't know, it has lots of really cool colors, I'm not sure, like, I haven't spent too much time on it yet, so I'm not really sure what I'm doing in it, but, um, no, it's cool. Next one is Magus, Mangus, Magus, whatever you want to say it. Um, this game is, like, right when PlayStation was released, it's, it's alright. It's a very short game. Um, it took me, like, three hours, three, four hours to beat it. The graphics kind of suck on it, but, I mean, I'm, like, downplaying it. It, it. It's a it's a fun game. It's a cool time little killer. I mean, I got it really cheap off Amazon, and it's alright of a game. It's alright. Um, God of War... This one um, is actually, I have the set, it came with a statue and a box and a bunch of other crap. Um, but I got it really cheap on clearance. I think I got it for ten bucks. Nine bucks. Anyway, so yeah, I, I grew up playing the God of War. Like I, I think it was the second one was the first one I played on PlayStation 2. And it was so, like, risque, epic, <laughs> you know, different. I liked it. I liked it right off the bat. <clears throat> Next one is Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. I have the original one down here. I got it on opening day. No turtle. Um, I love Diablo. I love the whole entire... Everything about it. Just every Diablo. Um, it's just so good. It's different. I like how you can upgrade everything. And you know, go back through and whoop the shit out of people. I just, I just love it. Um, I really want to get the uh, Diablo on uh, PlayStation 1, but, you know, I'm, I'm not going to pay $50 for it. But eventually it'll show up or find it where I can, you know, get it. But anyway, this is a great game. The next one is Grand Theft Auto 4. Um, I have two of these. One of them has the Liberty City stories. It's in these stacks as well that Turtle's probably going to knock over in a second. But yeah, I, I love the Grand uh, Theft Auto series. I used to play it on PlayStation One um, back when it was an uptown or uh, overhead view, and uh, it was it was good. It was so good. I actually got it for a graduation present, and it was it was awesome. My next one is the Walking Dead Survival Instincts. I had the other Walking Dead Turtle Stop Biting My Game, and I didn't really care for it as much as I cared for this one. And even though this one's a first-person shooter, it I just like it better. Um, I'm a huge Walking Dead fan. I used to read the comic books when I was a kid. But yeah, so. Um, Uncharted. Uh, the first one, Drake's Fortune. 
like I said, I love the Uncharted series. Um, this one was a good game. I, I enjoyed them. All three that I have, I want to obviously play the fourth one. But, um, yeah. Uh, next one is Dark Kingdom. I haven't really played this one too much. It's alright of a game. Um, maybe an hour into it, so I'm not sure what all is going on, but it's alright of a game. DuckTales Remastered. I love DuckTales on NES. It was so good. And um, I was unsure about this one because, you know, sometimes they ruin the character of the games when they remaster them. And, you know, and this one did all right. It was, it, it's a fun game. I really enjoy it. So, yeah, I recommend it. Dead Space 2. I'm stuck on this game because the whole needle going in the eye thing. I have a huge eye crazy phobia. And uh, I can't get past that part because it just creeps me out. So I'm kind of stuck, but I can't start the third one until I beat the second one. So, yeah, it's like, no, I'm stuck. Rage. I haven't played too much of it. Um, It's it's pretty cool. It's like, I don't know, it's pretty good. Uh, Legos Batman 2. Um, once again, Legos Batman can't go wrong. Journey Collector's Edition. edition. And um, these three games are amazing. If you guys haven't played them, check them out. Um, it's it's they're just good. They're different. They're definitely good games. They're short, but they're definitely good. Batman, um, Arkham City. Yeah, yeah, it's a good game. I like the I like Batman. So you know it worked out really well. I really want the PlayStation Four, um, the limited edition Batman one. That'd be so sweet. Although, have you guys seen the new uh, was it Xbox ones that look like the Lamborghinis? I think they're like there's like a German one or something. It's so cool looking. Um, one of the only sports titles I really really like is um, Fight Night. I like the whole series. I liked it on PlayStation Two and obviously PlayStation Three. Um, I used to box when I was a kid, and so anything boxing is you know the cat's meow so so to speak. And uh, yeah, and, and you know it has Tyson and Muhammad Ali on the cover. You can't go wrong. So, yeah, I love me some boxing. Two Worlds 2. I like the Two Worlds series. Some people hate it. Some people love it. Um, I, I have the first one on an Xbox 360. And I like them. I like the open world concept. I like that there's side missions. And, you know, I, I like to go in and, you know, kick butt on monsters and level up. And that that's come my kind of gaming. And so, yeah, this is, I think it's a great game. It has a lot of bugs, but I definitely think it's a great game. <clears throat> Excuse me. Allergies are killing me this year. Next one is Bejeweled 3. Um, I just, I like this game. It's a time killer. It's fun to play, you know, and I don't know. I, I, I think it's fun to play, so, yeah. Um, this game is amazing. I, I beat it, and uh, it's like, it's shorter, but it's like, way shorter, but it's like Skyrim, but with more colors. It's so full of bugs, though, like glitches and bugs and... You can't complete some missions because it just won't go through and all this kind of stuff. However, it is such a great game. Like, I don't, I, I don't know. I read that the people that helped create it actually, like, went out of business. Like, and it sucks because, one, can't really get it. The patch is fixed. But, two, and, you know, there's not another one. So, um, I don't like this game. I think the one on PlayStation 2 is extremely good. But this one, I was like, meh, hit or miss on it. I'm, I'm just not... I, w I would definitely leave it and take it. Enslaved is a great game. If you guys haven't played it, check it out. Um, it's such a good RPG. Uh, so worth the time on it. It's, it's beautiful. It's oh, it, it's just a great game. Just check it out. Uncharted 3. Uh, once again, love the Uncharted series. This is a, it's a good game, I mean. But definitely the second one is by far my favorite. Quantum Theory, I haven't even put this sucker in. Um, it was one of those uh, uh, GameStop online purchases, you know, for 89 cents. And, yeah, I haven't even tried it yet. It looks all right, though, but I haven't haven't sat down and did it. Let's see if I can do this without crashing it, because it would suck if I could, if I knocked him over and my cat didn't. Next one is Time Crisis 4. I haven't played this yet. Um, I don't have a gun. First of all, 
Second of all, I played the Time Crisis on, oh, I think it was PlayStation 1, I want to say, and it was so good, but I don't know. Um, Dante's Inferno is amazing. I uh, Everything about it is so creepy and good at the same time. Um, I have it on PSP as well. I just, I don't know, I just love it. I don't I just It's so weird, and it's kind of like Devil May Cry, but, like, weirder. It's so good. Um, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. This is the only Assassin's Creed I own. However, um, I like pretty... I haven't played all of them, but I would say all of them that I've played, I've definitely liked. Um, I like the whole... You know, you could rob people and punch them, and I, I don't know, I just like it. It's kind of an open world. I dig the concept on it, so I want to pick up some more of them, but I just haven't yet. A Mass Effect trilogy. I've actually had this for a while, and I haven't even put them in. Um, I haven't, you know, it's backlogged, but I heard these. this was a great series, and I can't wait to get into it and, you know, take the time to discover the awesomeness. Bound by Flame. This game is, it's not, a, a, like, you know, the greatest game on earth, but it's definitely a cool game. Like, I don't know, I'm kind of stuck in a, in a spot, but it's a budget title, so you can get it really, really cheap right now, and I don't, it's it's got some weird little quirks to it that are like, what, you know, but other things are, I don't I dig what they're doing with it, so, I don't know, it's all right. Next one is Legendary. I don't know crap about this game. Online, 89 cents. I don't, I don't know nothing about it. Um, Darksiders. I have Darksiders 2 on Xbox 360. This game is, is pretty cool. It's, it's hard, but it's pretty cool. Gundam Crossfire is crapola. Big old crapola. I just hate everything about it. Just uh, It's just awful. I don't like it at all. Uh, time shift. I dig the concept of it. It's it's definitely a different game. Um, yeah, that's all right. Devil May Cry, uh, HD collection. I like the Devil May Cry series, so I got it on PlayStation Three. I also have the the what is it? The fourth one on Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. Next one is Defiance. Um, I don't know nothing about this game. It was an online cheapy, so yeah. Fracture, um, it's all right. Uh, I don't, I don't know much, you know, what to say about it. As you can tell, it was super cheap, one seventy nine. Can't beat that shit. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's all right. I don't know much about this game either. I haven't really played it. Maybe I don't know a half hour just to check it out for a second. But it looks like it's going to be a pretty good game. So I'm really backlogged on my PlayStation Three because I get stuck on games. Conan, I beat this. I think if it would have been longer, it would have been even better. I think it's a good game, though. I mean, I don't know. I it, I was attracted to it because I, you know, I grew up in the 80s, man. I remember the original Conan, and I don't know. Arnold Schwarzenegger when he was, like, super crazy buffed out. Dark Sector. It's all right of a game. I don't, I don't mind it too much. Um, my cat is freaking out today. It's all right of a game, though. I haven't put too much time into it. Another Dragon Age, once again, Dragon Age is amazing. This one I'm going to murder, but Rise of the Argonauts, I can't say that word right. Um, it's I liked it because the original movies and stuff, it's, I don't know if you guys haven't seen them. They're, they didn't age well, but they still have such a great storyline. But yeah, I beat this game. Um, a lot of people didn't like it. I, I didn't find it too bad. I didn't like necessarily always the camera angles and how you can really overly adjust them, but I don't know, I thought it was a pretty good game. Next one is Dishonored. I loved this game. It was so good. Um, at the very end when you're going up that tower, that tower right there? Anyway, um, the game gave me vertigo when you have to go save that little girl at the end. Oh, it's so good. I need to go back through it and like do every mission and stuff. I just kind of hurry up and went through it, but it's such a good game. I'm so excited for the new one to come out. But I'm actually going to have to, you know, stick a crowbar in my wallet and buy a PlayStation 4. Kane and Lynch. Uh, this game. It's, it sucks. Both of them suck. They just, they're just awful games. Like, they just repetitively say the same things over. And Anyway, 
Um, Grand Theft Auto 4, episodes from Liberty City. Yeah, it's it's cool. I like the Grand Theft Autos. Um, I don't like the turn-based fighter in this, but fighting in this, but it, it's a it's a pretty game, and the storyline's pretty damn good in it. So, I definitely recommend it though if you like turn-based fighting. Um, the Last of Us. I actually got this at a yard sale for like three bucks when it was first came out. Oh. So yeah, I haven't sat down and played it yet, but I heard it was freaking amazing. So I'm excited about that. Street Fighter. I love Street Fighter. I grew up playing it, like, oh god, Super Nintendo. You know, one of the first black guys I got was uh, from my brother throwing a paddle because I beat him with E Honda. You know, and he threw that sit that that paddle and it like, I don't know how it even it just hit me in the eye. My eye was so black. Now my other shadow, my other cat's fighting with the other cat. <laughs> Check him out. Jesus. Thank you, Shadow. Borderlands, the pre-sequel. I haven't sat down and played it yet. Um, I have played uh, Borderlands 2, I think it is, or Borderlands 1. Anyway, but yeah, I haven't sat down and did with this. I got it really cheap for like five bucks, five or ten bucks. So these ones are three packs that I got from Walmart a long time ago, and they were um, on clearance for like five bucks. But this one has Spe uh, Spec Ops, The Line, Borderlands 2, and Mafia 2. The only one I've tried is Borderlands 2 on it. It's pretty good. And then this one has Bioshock, Borderlands, and Zycom. Um, I played Borderlands, the first one on it. It's really good, and I love Bioshock. Bioshock is so good. But, yeah, I hope to get a lot more um, PlayStation 3 games because you can definitely collect them right now for cheap. And there's such good gem hidden gems on them, and, you know, I just love the PlayStation. But, um, yeah, so that's my PlayStation collection. I'm sorry the video was, like, kind of crappy and long today. Just, it's, you know, it's just one of those days. But anyway, like, subscribe, and I'll get another video up for you guys. And uh, have a good day, guys.